Tom Petty was an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Uh, he formed a band called The Epics in the late sixties. In the late in the seventies, uh, they uh, became Mud Crutch, and some of the members of Mud Crutch uh, came with Petty when he formed Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers in nineteen seventy six. They existed as a band for thirteen albums until Petty died in two thousand seventeen. But he also released two albums with the Travelling Wilburys, who were a, a supergroup. Uh, they were in 1988 and 1990. Also three solo albums, so that was without the Heartbreakers name. And also later reformed Mud Crutch for two albums, one in 2008, one in 2016. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the eighth album by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, I, it's the first time I've listened to it as an album, but I know of Tom Petty and I recognize Learning to Fly, which is the first track on the album. So I would describe this album as being pop rock. Um, sometimes it's being given the, uh, uh, the genre heartland rock. And I think that is because it tells stories. Uh, some of them are folksy. So I, I, in my head, and I could be wrong and please correct me if you know better than me in the comments. Um, Heartland Rock is basically music that's rock but has kind of everyday down to earth uh, people's stories, particularly from America, um, and the sort of things that you might imagine would be folk, but it's more modern day um, and is epitomized by Bruce Springsteen. Um, anyway, um, so this is de it's definitely music that tells stories. Um, so Two Gunslingers is possibly one of my favourite tracks on the album. Is not what I think of as a Heartland Rock kind of story. It's more about these two gunslingers. I don't know if, they, if, if there's meant to be Wild West or, or when. Um, back to the music. Uh, the sound reminds me of uh, I Won't Back Down, which is a Tom Petty song, which is you know fairly reasonable that it would remind me of that. Reminds me of um, The Travelling Wilburys, and that's not a huge surprise because Tom Petty was in The Travelling Wilburys. And it also reminds me of Late ELO, so that's the Electric Light, Light Orchestra, a band from Britain. Um, so mostly the thing that really reminds me of the Late ELO is a backing acoustic guitar sound, uh, which I think is often a 12-string, which is fairly quiet in the mix, but you can still hear it quite clearly and compressed and it's kind of it's kind of a thin sound but it keeps the rhythm going it kind of chugs away with it and it's very uh say late ELO it's very Jeff Lynn type sound and when he produced other things sometimes he used that sound and in fact uh when I read up on this album I found that in fact Jeff Lynn produced the album and played some of the guitars so it might well have actually been him uh that uh, was playing this um the singing is uh, reasonable. I'm not sure he's very distinctive. He reminded me a bit of uh, Dave Edmonds, uh, as a British singer from the, the mid-late 70s. Um, sometimes he reminded me a little. There's more in his kind of songs and the, the tunes that he used that remind me of Elvis Costello because his voice isn't like Elvis Costello's. Um, he has, um, in the songwriting... Um, uh, slightly distinctive breaks in sentences and, and drawn out words and kind of, you know, you do a couple of words and then pause and do another couple of words so that it fits with the tune and the music and stuff. Uh, but it gives it a slightly abrupt feeling to the singing. Um, but I, I think that's uh, maybe one of the most distinctive things about his singing. So their songs, uh, as I've said before, about life, the story songs, there's some good songwriting in here, some nice pictures drawn, um, and I enjoyed it. Um, but having done the comparison to Elvis Costello, I think it's not quite on a par with Elvis Costello in terms of the, the quality of the songwriting, uh, but it's still it's a decent album, so I enjoyed it. And as always, uh, I'd love to know what you think of this album, so please do give us a comment in the comments box. That's it from me for now. Two gunslingers walked out in the street and one said, I don't want to fight no more 
and the other gunslinger.